Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out TAC University Edition. This is the second edition. I've covered the first one already. Joining me is Ida Lee. She'll be helping me out with this one. Um, just be warned that this is her first time playing, and I am not what you would call a TAC expert by any means, so you're going to be watching two newbies playing. If you've come looking for TAC tips, you're in the wrong place. I'm more interested in showing off what this second edition has to offer. It's still a two-player game. It's about ages 12 and up, and the average play time is about 20 minutes per game, maybe even less than that, depending on you know how good you are versus the other player. So uh, what is this game all about? Well, let's go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on what you get. Now, um, I will explain the differences uh, between the second edition and the first edition. This edition is meant to be a travel version. Um, you'll notice, if you have this the first edition already, you'll notice that the pieces are the same here in the first edition. I think the, um, the white pieces were like a trapezoid kind of thing, and the, the black pieces were like rounded on top. So you've got the same exact uh, shape pieces here. Um, the game does include a cloth baggie for travel purposes. Um, and you'll notice that the box is a bit thinner. If I remember, I'll go ahead and post a picture of uh, my previous TAC video so you can compare the two. But again, this is meant to be a travel version. Um, the board is only single-sided. In the uh, first edition, it was two-sided. One had a side like this. The other side had like a flowery side with diamonds. That way you could play in a 6 by 6 uh, board as opposed to a 5x5 five five board, or even less than that. But anyway, um, this game comes with uh, 21 pieces per side, which is enough to play the 5x5 five five game. Uh, the first edition had 30 pieces and uh, also one capstone each. Um, so yeah, so this basic this edition is basically a step down. It's just smaller. Uh, it's, just, it's just meant for travel. And I'll get to that toward the end of the review. But uh, as far as um, what this game is about, uh, your goal is just to create a road from one side of the board to the other side of the board. Something like this. Uh-huh. 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 White would win. That's the whole game? That's the whole game. Cool. However, there are some stipulations, obviously. Okay. Um, whenever you go to put a piece down, you can either put it flat or you can put it standing up. When you put it standing up, it becomes a wall at that point, meaning that you cannot stack any pieces on top of it. So it's, it's a way to block. Um, uh, so on your turn, you either put a piece down on its flat side, you can put a piece down on its, uh, well, wall side, I guess. Um, or um, you can also put down a capstone if you want to. A capstone doubles as a wall and a flat piece. The thing about this is, is that the wall does not count as a road. So in this event, if you had something like this, this would not count as a win because that wall does not count as a road. Unless you do this. Yes, you could. <laughs> or you have a capstone here. Oh, okay. It's still a wall, but it's also a road, so, so it doubles you can't as both. Flick a wall. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what you could do is um, you can move a capstone onto uh, a wall. It could be your wall or an enemy wall, and you can flatten it. So you could do something like this. You could move one space, and I'll get to moving in a minute, but you could move uh, and then knock it down with your capstone. That's one way to do it. Yeah. Um, so on your turn, you're either going to put a piece down on its flat side, on its wall side, or uh, you can move a piece or move a stack that you control. Uh, a stack that I control. Uh, for example, this is a stack. White is on top, so white controls this stack. Whenever you move it, you can move a number of um, pieces up to the length and width of the board. In this case, it's five. Mm -hmm. So at this, at this level, at this uh, size board, you could move up to five pieces. Uh, so if you had something like, uh, uh, there's seven pieces here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd have to leave two pieces behind while I move these five. And when I, when I move, I have to leave some in its place. So I can move them all here, I could keep going with it and do something like that, and then uh, maybe something like that, and something like that. Uh, can I? I wonder if I can do that. 
I have to check. Again, you're you're watching two noobs. I'm pretty. I don't know if it's a straight line. If I can carry them in a straight line, or if I can actually move after that. Um, I guess I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I don't. I don't think it. I think you have to keep it going in a straight, continuous line. But as we're playing, if it turns out to be not that case, then. Um, yeah, because I don't think I can do this. I, I think I'd have to end the move here. It has to be in a straight, continuous line. Mm -hmm. All right, but anyway, uh, we'll get there when we get there. There's some movement examples that I'll be referring to. So um, in this case, that was probably a bad move for white because now black has three stacks under his control. But that was just an example. You can basically take a stack under your control, split it up, and then move them in a direction mm -hmm. is what that is. So you can either lay a piece down or you can move a stack under your control. Um, if you had this on top like this, and say a wall over here, and, you know, so you could do something like that, and then that, then you have to leave all of them behind, and then flatten up. You could do that. You could do something like that. Okay. So that's tack. There's a, a, there's some more strategy to it, obviously, than that. The experts will no doubt chime in and say what we did wrong but <laughs> in that regard. But again, this is more of a learning game kind of thing and to show off the second edition. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like, you can go first. You can be white. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the board a little bit more so, so players at home can see. Yeah, so feel free to ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Can we move anywhere at all times? Uh, what do you mean move anywhere? Whenever you're moving, you have to move adjacent, uh, up, down, left, or right. Oh, so I can't... How many can I move? Just one? One. Okay. One stack. Okay. So you can either put a piece down on your turn, or you can move an existing stack. Okay. And the number of pieces you can move in that stack depends on the length of the board, which is five. Can I do that? Yes. Now, on the first move, I should have mentioned this. The first move, you place one of my pieces, and I place one of your pieces okay. as a flat as a flat piece. Okay. So take one of my black ones and place it wherever you want, and I'll take one of yours and place it at, yeah, okay, so there we go. Sure. So now you get to play white. You can either move this piece, like here or here, or you can put another piece down. Can you connect diagonally? No, there is no diagonal connections. Okay. So there you go. Um, I'm going to do something like that, maybe. Okay. Where is that cat? Oh. I guess I will move. I'm gonna move this. No, I'm just kidding. That's rude. What the heck is she doing? <laughs> I was gonna move. Were well, you stop? cheating <laughs> already? That didn't take long. Okay, so you did that. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put. Um, He's gonna hide all your brown stuff. I'm sure you were. <laughs> no, no. I see how it is. Nah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, either. Don't feel bad. I mean, I, I have yet to figure out the right strategy for this game. So I'm just sort of throwing pieces down in the hopes that it comes together naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put a piece, say, there. Okay. Now, whenever you put a piece down, I'm pretty sure um, it has to be on an empty spot. I could be wrong, but let me just make sure that that's the case. When you're putting a piece down... Uh, on an em any empty space on the board. So whenever you put oh. a piece down, it has to be on an empty space. But you How can do I stack them? You move an existing piece onto oh, it. Oh, interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that changes things up a bit. Yeah, now, yeah. now you can beat me. I get it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can it be any existing piece on the board, or does it have to be adjacent? W when you move? Or when I stack, like, can I bring this one over here? No, it has to be adjacent. Oh, okay. Whenever you move, like, this this is considered a stack. Okay. So, you only have one piece, so you would either move here or here is okay. where you would move that. You could either stack on this one, or you can move up to an empty space. Um, the rules suggest, as, as a starting tip, mm -hmm. um, less moving in the beginning and more placing. Is That's the tip at the rule book. The basic strategy is... Um, in the early game, be careful not to make too many moves. You need to put pieces into play and not just move the pieces you have. Oh, um, in the lake, what is the animals doing? <laughs> the plane. I see. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, 
lots of stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to just mix things up a bit. I'm going to put a wall there. So what does the wall do? Does it prevent me? It prevents you from moving on to it. Moving on to it. So you, you can't prevent me from doing that? No, you can do that. But if you were trying to create a road going this way, mm -hmm. you, you have to go around it. Okay, I see. So basically, I'm just trying to block... I'm trying to block you from, you know, doing stuff. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to do that. Okay. Whoa, blocking me, are you? Okay, um, I will do something like that. <laughs> okay, that works too. I will put my capstone here. And I am obligated to say tack, which is sort of like check in chess, okay. meaning that I'm one move away from winning. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. How? Well, let's look at my look at my possible paths. Where do I have this one? Yes. So <laughs> if I were to, where do I need to go to complete that? Here and here. No, because I could go from here, 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 here. Oh, like, I thought it had it's, to be straight. No, no, no. It has to be, it, it could, it's like a path. It has to be oh. one continuous path from one side of the board to the other. This, again, this is our first game, so you... Okay. These questions are common. Okay, so can I, can I do this? Yeah, you can't place a piece oh, yeah, on an empty right, piece. Right. Yeah, Okay. So or you I have to put it on an empty piece. Uh, something no, you, like that. <laughs> You're fine. No, no. That's, you could you could move something here to stop me from, you know. You could do that. Um, so wait, why aren't you one? Why haven't you won yet? Because I don't have. If I don't have a black piece here, I don't have a black piece here, or I don't have a black piece here. If I put a black piece here, that connects me oh, here. You, okay, you have to. Go here down. would go down. Here I down. Oh. Or a black piece here would give me. A continuous path. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, so what if I do... <laughs> Remember, you can't put a... Yeah, you have to put a... I keep forgetting. That's okay, you're fine. That's uh -huh. a, that's a, this, is, this is your first game, so it, strategy is not going to be... Can I do that? You cannot turn a flat piece into a wall. Can I do this? Yes, you could. This? Okay. Absolutely. What's the difference? It doesn't really matter which one I put on that. Did it? it might. How? It might. It doesn't though. Uh -huh. Well, okay, look. If I put this one there. Okay. And you put something here, and I would have to put something there. Is that what you meant? I haven't thought that far ahead, honestly. Oh, well, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> well, no, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to put a flat piece here. Yeah. And then I'll put a wall. Wait. You could put a wall yeah. that prevents me from going. You have to go around. Yes, or <laughs> I'd have to try and com I'd have to try and complete that. Yeah. You can't go diagonal, so you wouldn't be able to do that. No, I can't go diagonal. Okay, I see now. I'm trying to see if I can. What a charming little checkers game. Checkers. <laughs> checkers. Connect the dots. Checkers. <laughs> Checkers? What? Yeah, you're fine. How much do you hate checkers? I don't know how much. <laughs> Chess compared to checkers is a big difference. Yes. I think. Yes, it is. Uh, checkers is better. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we all know. If McCall. I could table topia flip table, I would. We all know McCall and Dom. Yeah, Ma are the yeah, best. yeah, yeah. McCall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pick up a stone. <laughs> No, oh, we're good. Okay, we're good. Um, I will... Hmm. I can... I could... Move... There. Flatten your wall. Ooh. Can I do this? Yes, you can. What a game. It is. There's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of possible moves that you can do in this. Like, it's tough. Mm hmm All right. Um, Cut through. It is. I will... Uh... All right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 
How do I flip my own wall over? <laughs> just right into it. You, you, you. Oh, with one of those? Yeah, with your That's capstone. That's the only way? That's the, your capstone is the only way to flip a wall down to flat. That makes me sad. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. such an attitude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I will say tech. tech. <laughs> tech oh, you should, well. What? Oh, oh yeah. No, 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 you could not have won next move. No. The way that's, because I'm looking at something. Yeah. I yeah. have to move it. Yes. Yeah. Walling that. I will. Oh, wow. Okay, I will. I'd hate to lose that center, but there's something I could possibly do. Hmm. Well, if I can't go that way with it, I'm going to move there. It's tough. Yeah, it is. There's a, there's a lot of possibility. Like, I don't see... Like, I'm looking at the board and trying to figure out how do people get four or five stack high? Yeah. When you're, like, seven stack high, you have to you have to move it and unstack it? Um, no, you just... It, as long as you control it, yeah, whenever you move... Like, yeah, you, you would have to split it up at that point. Okay. Because... Whenever you've got a five by five board like this, you can only at maximum carry five. Okay. So you'd be leaving like two behind in a stack of seven, because seven minus five is two. Mm -hmm. And then with those five pieces, you can drop them off. And you can do that on more than one move? Yes. Okay. On the same move. Mm -hmm. No, wait. I don't want to do that. Okay. Because then you'll win. <laughs> How would I win? I don't have attack. Oh, wait, no. I don't no. have attack, I don't think. Not that I can see, anyway. Uh -huh. Okay. I will... Now, the game also wins when I think... That the entire board is covered. Oh, really? I think. Let me just make sure that I got that right. That doesn't make sense. Well, again, I could be saying that wrong. I know there's some other ways that the game ends. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. I hope it's not the board covered. All right. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, me, I'm gonna put a piece here. Ooh. Now, uh, nope. Still no tack there, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. Then again. If you, can you run into my wall? With this? I could and knock it down. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't win though because this doesn't count as a wall. That wall on the right there. Yeah. Um, I just had it. Other ways to win. Flat win. If either player runs out of pieces or the board is full, mm -hmm. then the game ends. Okay, if you created, so yeah, if the board is full, the game ends. Whoever has the most flat pieces wins. In this case, I guess I should have thought about that before doing that. <laughs> uh, if you put a flat piece here, the game would end. You'd get one, two, three, four. I want the capstones count. Um, oh, I thought they meant like in your hand. 
No, I think it's on the board. The most flat stones wins. Count only the flat stones on the top stacks, not those buried within stacks. So it doesn't say anything about capstones. If you were to put one here, it's three for you there. This row's one. This row's t uh, so four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'd win. So by you putting that there, okay, so now the board, <laughs> yeah, the board is full. That's just, I don't like that. Well, no, well, that's, that's smart. I mean, had I known that, I wouldn't have done that. But yeah. instead of, I should have moved some more pieces around instead of, that's actually a strategy in this game. Uh, it's called running out the clock. You know, if you see yourself <laughs> winning because you have the most flat stones, you try and get the board completely full up so that, you know, you can end the game this way. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, good job. You won, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell by putting that white one over there. So do you want to try another run through to see? <laughs> oh, okay, so you don't want to end the game. I don't want to end the you game. You don't want to end the game already? Right? Okay, well, you, then, all right, folks, for the record, she won that one. We're just, <laughs> we're just sort of playing around now. Um, I could do... I feel um, like I didn't even get into the game. <laughs> uh, it's a, Well, this is a five by five. If we're playing a larger one, uh, there are other boards out there that uh, it goes three by three, four by four, five by five, six by six, and eight by eight. Wow. And an eight by eight, it's fifty stones and two capstones. Mm -hmm. um, so many boards. So many boards, so little time. Mm -hmm. All right, I will. I bet this is how they go about assimilating us. Ah. Uh, Yes. Get it? Borg boards. Oh. That's the worst joke ever. Boy, I'm in a bad position. All right, so I did. Whoa. Look at me. Look at you go. Flying high now. We got a stack of three. Oh man! Someone slow things down. <laughs> I, I need the hose. Woo. A stack of. I can't take this. This is tough. It is. All right. Um. How do I get rid of this one? You don't. <laughs> the capstones are like Mr. Invincible. Okay, that works. Um. I can see why placement is is a big thing to moving. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Um. Can I stack like? Does it have? Do I have to have two in order to stack up here? No, you can stack up there. Okay. Because I was thinking of that Santorini game where you have to be on like this. Yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Good, good catch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to. Flatten that. Ooh. And that's tack for me. Oh, yeah. Because I could is. win in one move. Well, yes, I could. Yeah. By moving a stack, an existing stack, I could move. You could. Yeah. That works too. <laughs> um. So, oh, I should have called tag earlier. Forgot. It was a while back before you did this one. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I think. Oh, wait. Is it that? Ah, I don't remember. I, 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 no, I don't think it was. Never mind. I take it back. I do this, bro. So, ah, <gasps> oh, you got me. Connect what? four. Connect four. <laughs> yes, I win. I think no, you're no. supposed to call tag. <laughs> I thought I did before. Remember tag? 
Uh, I guess. All right, well, you no, won. Remember no, the whole flat good. thing? You got that. Yeah. You want to play one more game? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, it's crazy. All right, so it, I'm sure there were a lot of mistakes made, folks, so yeah, just saying. Again, beginners playing here. Be generous. All right, so you got the white pieces, so now you choose one of my black ones to place, and I choose one of your white ones to place. Okay. Now, um, just as a note for you folks at home, this version comes with uh, university gambling rules. I'll just put them here real quick for you so you can get an idea. But basically it involves anteing, bidding, calling tack, and end rewards. It's a way of, I guess, just gambling with this game. I, and there's also some multi-scoring options down here. Feel free to pause the video uh, you know, whenever you feel like it so you can read these things for yourself. But yeah, they are in the rule book as well. Okay, so, yeah, one more, uh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. I need one of yours now, there we go, I'm gonna put... That was funny. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the handicap, uh, <laughs> handicap game. Alright, um... Oh, man, that was a classic, uh, connect four move. That, that was classic. That. <laughs> Absolutely. That. Tic-tac-toe. Three in a row. No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Where did she go? You're like all in there. That was a good. That was a good jump there. I like that. Uh, you forgot to call it tack. Did I? Uh huh. Tack. Do you know how? No. <laughs> what if I move that? Yes, that's, um, that would be a win. Sure, tack then. Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. You win. Uno. Uno. Good job. You're so good at this. I don't know how you do it. Look, I'm like, what did I miss? <laughs> There's so many like things to do, but there you is. can only move once. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Ooh, she's got it. <laughs> I know what she's doing. Uh, I won't move. You don't know what I'm doing? Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, tack. Tack. Where? <laughs> tack, tack. Oh, for you? You. Oh, for me. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Tack. Yeah, I saw that. I knew that. You know that? <laughs> Just checking. Good job. You passed. You you've been passing sure. these tests with flying colors. Look at you go. Uh, well, I gotta. I can't let that remain like. Ooh. I gotta start cutting stuff off. Uh, can I win? My turn. Yes, it is your turn. Sorry. Okay, well, no, no, that's smart, because I see what you're going to do. That's good. Um, so I have to do that if... Really? Hmm? Oh! No, I was looking at something else. Oh. No, let me you, see. What were you looking at? Uh, you moving this here. How Because oh. this would... Con this yep. connects like that. 
So I guess the only commonality that I have is maybe, well, see if I do this, then you put that there. Mm -hmm. um, you, I have to try and cover this up. Can you cover this up? Oh, no, that yes. wouldn't, yeah, because then you, you'd move this here, and that would still yeah. be it. Yeah, so I'd have to, this is, seems to be the driving piece. So I'm, I'm going to have to forego it by doing that, but you... You have a way around that, I think. I do. I don't. I didn't get my capstone down fast enough. I think that's my problem. I could have. Blo well, I'm just saying. Like, I could have probably blocked a bit over here. You've got a nice little majority going. Hmm. So you. I'm just thinking in my head what you could possibly do. You've got some options. That was an option. <laughs> an option. An option. Actually, you know what? When you when I moved, I should have done this. That way. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. Well, okay. this is a, this is a stack that I control. Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna do this now. Do you want to change what you did? No, I'll just do this. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's good. And I will instead move this stack that I control and put it here. Oh, you can do that. I don't think I have to leave any behind, do I? Um, let me just make sure that I got that right. If not, then I'll, I'll mm -hmm. take it back. That's fine. Uh, carrying. Now, it looks like I can move the entire stack. Nice. Yeah, according to movement example number one, they all start here on this white spot, and there's nothing left there. So that is an option. That, that, is, that is legal. Okay. Can I do this? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Now I see where seven high comes from. Yeah. Um, because now I could do something like... Oh, you could do that? Mm-hmm. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. You trying to put an entire stack down? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> See, you had like four in your hand. No, no, no. I'm just thinking. I know. <laughs> if you need the board turn. So now, if I, but you have to take it out now because you can only have a five. No, you can have the you can have the stack as high as you want. When you go to move, you can only move as many as the length of the board. In this case, it's five. So out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are here. I'd have to leave at least these two white ones behind, which I don't want to do because that leaves you with a space. Mm -hmm. If I were to move this stack, I'd keep this black one here and then move these four and keep these four together and move them somewhere else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see now, I see. I know what you're going to do. You're going to split it, you conniver. I am a <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good job. Look at you. I Okay. Um I will there and to tack. me that is tack. Yeah. Oh. I think you got it any which way. Mm, well, no, because you can still. I could do that, right? Yes. Okay. And I could. Oh, well, I could. I could move this stack here. Mm -hmm. Bundle that up. Tack. Tack tack. Oh, I see what you're doing. Good job. <laughs> Mm. Yep. All right, so that's a tack for me. Oh, it is. Do you see where? 
Yeah. This little space. Yep, because that stack back here can be split. <laughs> well, I could still, I can move on to it. You, oh, you can. And I could still end up with the white on bottom, like that white would be on the bottom then. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, let me get some more pieces moving here. My turn? Mm hmm. Can I do this? Okay. Yep. And then you can split them up further if you want. Sure. I would, yep. That's what I was thinking. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then it's in a straight line. Look at that! In that. one fell swoop, you managed to. Oh, but then if I do that though. What? Like, you can kind of screw me over. How? By putting that on there. I could. Control. But. Whatever. You've got attack, so I, I got to anyway. Tack tack. Tack tack. <laughs> oh! Oh, fuck. No, what are you gonna do? Can I change? Oh, no, I guess I can't. Moving in chain. I was gonna move from here all the way to there, but I can't. Not with the piece. To, yeah, it has to be adjacent. I keep forgetting. You're it's fine. It's like checkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Um, I need to move there. Right. I'm in defense mode now. I <laughs> you like you took over like a number of stacks like that. That was really good on your part. Mm -hmm. How do I destroy the brown in the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> destroy it? Yeah. You can like cover it up I'm at like this point. Vaporize it. <laughs> this isn't Star Trek. You can't phaser it out of, out of existence. Darn. Alright. Um. Met with a transporter accident. <laughs> Tack-tack! With a tack-tack, yes. Okay. Um, uh, and tack. I have a tack. Yeah, tack. I'm gonna do this. Okay. That's good. Um, I will... I can't let you have that. Because you split those up, and that's a lot of white. <laughs> so I gotta move these up. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, well, okay. <laughs> Jenga! <laughs> Jenga! Ah! Uh, How does one come back from this? You could tack me. I'm dead. You, yeah, you won this. There's no way for me to win this. You can split these up easily and get five in a row. I don't think there's a way back from this. Um, all I could really do is maybe move this and then put a stack there and a stack there. Just to try and get those white pieces off the board. Hey. But now you can move five... <laughs> Five here, well, one, two, three, four, five. That would leave my black one there. So I have a question though. Uh huh. Instead of doing that, you did this, right? Like you put this in there. Mm hmm. Couldn't you have done, like, oh, sorry. It's all right. Couldn't you have done, like, I don't know, something like that to... and then this? Uh, where was it? It was right here. Probably. <laughs> you can do that. Nah, it's, uh, I already moved. You're good. No, it's. I feel bad. No. Because <laughs> I kept my mouth shut when you were doing no, that. No, that's smart. No, if that's if that was indeed legal, that would have been. So I could have moved. Yeah, that's actually really smart. No, no. You. That was good. Oh, that was good. I mean, that that sounds legal to me. I feel bad. <laughs> well, no, that's all. You only get to move four pieces. Five oh. up to five. Oh, five pieces. Okay, so. You one, two, three, four, five. But if you move, that leaves this brown one here. 
if you move all five. Okay. But it, so. So can I do? No, you have to keep. You can only move five. Oh, I can only. Oh, I can only move. I thought you meant like I can only move five times. No, 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 no. All right. So I, okay. Five pieces. So the length of the board. So I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, you have to leave that brown. If you want to move five, you have to leave the brown one there. You could move four and keep the white one there. Now, remember, you have to stay in one direction, though, I think. Oh, I can't turn? I don't think 90, so. A 90 degree angle. Okay, that's fine. Mm. I'm looking just to make sure. It's okay. Move in a straight line, dropping at least one piece off at the bottom in each space along the way. Yeah, so it is a straight line. It's not like a 90 degree And it's only one piece on the bottom? Hmm? Uh, like at least one piece. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll do... So if you were to go, you'd have to put... All right. I can't put one there. <laughs> no. One, two... Um, but then... Okay, might as well just leave it like this. <laughs> <laughs> leave it like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that for a second. Okay, for a second. And I wanna. And then and then the chaos ensues. You're flattening that. Oh, if I do no no I don't want to flatten it. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Haha. Oh, I'm joking. Good job. <laughs> We need like a 3D, oh, man. like the only way to see behind this is to rotate the board. Yeah. This is interesting. What an interesting game. Yeah. Yeah. That's, in case people at home want to see what's on the other side of this. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're like a lazy Susan. <laughs> All right. So you did this. That would be like, oh my gosh, wait, wait. Yeah, right. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> It spins so fast that pieces just fly off the board. <laughs> <laughs> tack tack. Tack tack. <gasps> you got me tack tack in both ways, bro. Bro. Don't you? You don't even know. W what are you talking about? You you did. How? Oh, I only know the one way. Well, well, I was figuring like if I blocked either, like if I blocked this one, you still grab me on this one. How would I get this one? There's no tack if I move here. Oh, really? No, because it has to go on opposite, like... Oh, oh, I thought there was one here. No, no there's mind. not. Mm -hmm. no, no. Okay, so, so can I do that? Yeah. Okay. And... Well... Uh, what? There's still a tack? Tack. Mm-hmm. Stupid tack. Stupid tack, <laughs> tack. Uh... I'm surprised you didn't call it, like just put a brown one there and call it a day. <laughs> there is no way. What, what would that do? You had a brown one here, and then if you had a brown one here, you would have called tack, and I would have to block you. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know either. Whatever. Um, <laughs> sure, sure. No, I, I win. Um, let's go with hmm. tack. Tack. Oh yeah, tack. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would work for me anyway. Tack. And are you sure you want to do that? Why? Because I can move. The only thing I can do, isn't it? Uh, is it? Yeah, look. Oh, uh, not so. You forget that not only can you lay them flat, but they can also be a wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, I could have done that on the other one. But I would still win. I No. This, I think, has to land directly on that. Like, I couldn't move this. Wait a second, wait a second. How would you still win? Oh, because you would grab yes. that there. Never mind. Okay. So can I do that? Yes. Now, what I could do... Is flatten it and still call tack. I could still call tack, but I wouldn't win. But I'm not going to do that because you've got that stack ready to go like that. Mm -hmm. So... Stack attack. <laughs> stack attack. Stack attack. Um, I could flatten it, but then, like I said, you could... But I'd only be able to move five. It does, it, that would be enough to win. You could move enough heat down the line there to win. If, no. I, if, I, if I move this out of the way... One, two, 
three. Oh, okay. I, see, mm -hmm. I, see. I need to keep this here for defense. But can't you move this whole thing because you're on top of I it? I could, but you'd still have enough pieces. No, I wouldn't. You'd have three there. One. One, two, two. three. If that were, if this were oh, yeah, empty. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Okay. I keep forgetting about this little thing. I well, I could do this. And then still call tech. Well. And then still do things. Well, I can't call tack, but it's... <laughs> I, I put a wall there to stop yeah. that from happening on a future turn. Tack. Tack, tack. How is that tack? Oh, because you could flatten. Well, darn. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way I can get out of that. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. Oh, well, not a way that I would prefer. Oh, uh, I could do this. Yeah. Hmm. I can only move five, you said. Up to five, yeah. All right, so there you go. Attack. Attack again. <sighs> I could do... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to deal with this, but I don't, I don't have any pieces close enough. The only other way out of this situation is for me to split this up and land on top of this, mm -hmm. but I'd have to leave stuff open. Like, I'd have to do, like, one, two, mm -hmm. and then something like that, but then you could easily... Yeah, you just... Tack. Yeah, that's what I mean, like... <laughs> there, there's no... I can, I can slow this down, but... I could do one, two, three... Again, I'm trying to stop you from... Yeah, it, it's, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Tack. <laughs> I mean, like that? Yeah, like there's no, there's, there's no way. Um, well, I was thinking when you had these two browns here... Couldn't you have attacked me by... Oh, yeah, no, no, that's right, because I had that. Mm. No, I think you won this one. I don't have enough pieces left down here to cover anything up. Well, um... Good job. I'm... I am dead. I will do as my final... I'm trying to think. You're fine, you're fine. I, oh, I'm just no. fine. I'm good. Go ahead, finish me off. I feel so flip, flip my wall. Wait, doesn't the game end if I run out? Are you out of pieces? I'm out of pieces, like in my hand. Um, yes. But you've got, you got way more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, you've got more flat pieces than me. Well, in terms of, well, is it flat pieces on the table or is it? If either player is a road, no. The player with the most flat stones wins. Not, count only the flat stones on top of stacks, not those buried in stacks. Okay, so yeah, whoever has the most controlled stacks is what it means. And in that case, you, well, you win anyway. So there you go. Good job. Two mm -hmm. games. No, no, that's good. That's so bad. You did good. Well, you beat me in the last game. So no, you no, you won number, and then we just keep pl we kept playing. Uh, no, that first one was just a a fluke. A, fluke? <laughs> a, a kerfuffle, fluke. if you will. A yeah, that was a no, no, I I will totally concede both games to you. That, no, you did you did very well. No, what no. did you think of Tack as a whole, like just the it, game? It was cute. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm surprised at how much I actually enjoyed it because I usually don't like games like this. You don't like, you don't like abstract games. I, uh, yeah, for some reason, except for Azul. Azul you, was Azul, abstract. But, did, but you didn't like Santorini. I didn't like Santorini. I like this one though, you, for some reason. Because of the, is it because of the area control? Well, Santorini was very much area control. Yeah. This is too. I think it's because there's no limit to how much, well, except for the four or the five mm -hmm. uh, thing, but there's no limit. Like, like it has to be two in order to move on top, you know? You can right. just move one. Mm -hmm. That's what I really like about that. Cool. But I like that there is a there is a rule that you can only move five, or as much as the board is. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
As a game, TAC is awesome. I love it. Yeah. Um, as the second edition, though, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I, I, here's the thing. Do, what I recommend this to people, it depends. Do you already own the first edition? If the answer is yes, you really don't need this. The first edition comes with more pieces for the 6x6 game, mm -hmm. a double-sided board, and it, the only downside is, is the first edition board, uh, the box is larger. However, this game, this game advertises that it comes with a cloth bag. You could go online and buy a cloth bag, take your pieces from the first edition, and just bring them with you. Is that the only difference? The second edition? The second edition, this, this second edition includes a cloth bag, which the other one does not. Okay. And this edition only has a one-sided board. The first edition has a two-sided board. One is a 5x5, five five, and the other one was a flowery 5x5, five five, but also with a 6x6 six six variant on it. So the first edition actually has more pieces and a double-sided board, whereas this one is just a single-sided board with enough for the 5x5 five five game that you saw today. And this is considered a second edition? This is the second edition. This is the university edition. This is meant to be the smaller travel version. But if it's, I can see where they're going with that. However, it offers less than the first edition, and just because it offers a cloth bag, why would you want to pay another 40, 50 bucks to buy this version just for a cloth bag when you can go on Amazon, buy a cloth bag, and take your first edition pieces with you wherever you, you know, wherever you're going. A ziplock bag. <laughs> a ziplock bag, that works too. So I'm just saying like, I, I, I did some checking on price comparisons on Amazon. Keep in mind, Amazon's prices fluctuate and sometimes they're inflated because third party sellers do that. But the first edition is going for about 50 bucks right now on Amazon. And the university second edition is going for forty dollars on Amazon. So f I, I don't know what the actual retail price is, but if they're only a ten dollar difference, like as shown on Amazon, you're basically paying ten dollars less for a cloth bag, but with less pieces. Like to me, I would just buy the first edition, get more pieces, get a bigger board, get a two-sided board and buy yourself a cloth baggie that you can take the pieces with you. You're sort of jipping yourself for 10 extra dollars. You can get a two-sided board and, and nicer pieces. However, admittedly, the board or the box here is smaller than the first edition. Um, again, if I remember, I will put a picture of a screenshot of the first edition video that I covered and you can sort of see the difference in the box sizes. So is this a good travel game? Yeah, absolutely. Tack is a great travel game. But I don't see this being a great alternative to the first edition when you can easily make the, the, ba the bag substitution with the first edition, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I could be missing something that Tack veterans and experienced players, you know, know about. But to me, I could simply take the other edition that I have, get a baggie, throw the pieces in there, and take them with me. You don't even need a board. You don't need a board. It, there is a way to play without a board. You take like a penny or something, or maybe four pennies as, say, this, 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 and this. That serves as your center. And you can easily, as, as you play, the board sort of forms around you. So you can start seeing the dimensions here. You know, something, you know. So now you know that this is five by three, five by... So now you've got like a five by five board there. You don't even need the board. So, I mean, there are ways to mark corners and squares without the need for the board altogether. So if you're looking for a travel edition, technically, this, it's okay, but it's not, I think, the ideal solution that's going to replace the first edition. My, if, if you do not own TAC at all, I would say the first edition offers more content but also look at the price and see what it is at the point in t at that point in time before buying either or if this is like say 20 bucks down the line and the first edition is 50 then yeah then i can see this being a cheaper beginner alternative for people that you know just want to start getting into the game it's a nice smaller version it's cheaper but for a 10 dollar difference as it stands right now i don't see this as replacing the first edition in my opinion but it, the prices could change in the future. 
So, um, that was TAC University Edition. If you guys want to see another run-through of this, let us know. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and the ever-so-lovely Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.